Hi there, welcome to a new series, a beginner series. For those who perhaps have never tried yoga before, or maybe who want to think about a new way of approaching yoga, in a Raja Yoga way. These sessions will be very simple, and what our real focus will be upon is the understanding of what we're doing and why. So, let's start in a seated position. Whatever's good for you. So, don't worry if you can't do all the poses perfectly. That's not important, especially in the beginning. Our focus is on what we can do, not what we can't. So, just do your best and focus on some more important parts. How you are breathing, how you are approaching this practice mentally and emotionally. And of course, how you are feeling as you explore your own body and mind. Really, for all yogis, the practice is about learning. Okay, so we're sitting in a nice comfortable position without being too obsessive about our posture because we need to be relaxed. This is a fundamental basis for all practices, that we are relaxed in our approach, the way we are doing things. So physically, even if you find this pose a little bit uncomfortable, just do what you can, try to manage it in a relaxed way and don't have unrealistic expectations of yourself or your body. So what are we doing? Well, in the beginning, it's all about stopping. Close your eyes. Get the feeling of stopping. Stopping everything else. This is where we start. And when we become still and quiet, put down our phones, stop talking, stop eating, and become restful, quiet, and aware, we are starting the practice of meditation. Feel your body right now, your legs, your back, your tummy, and chest, your arms from the shoulders down to the fingertips. Your neck, head and face. This is the body right now, how it's feeling right now. We're being relaxed in this pose. We're soft in the body. And we're listening to the body. Noticing. Am I tight in the shoulders? Is there tension in my neck? Is my stomach tight? What about my lower back? How about my hips? And what about the knee? Many people have tight ankles. Feel yours now. 
And if you do feel tension anywhere in your body, see if you can relax into those areas. This is the starting point. We build the practice from here. We have stillness and quiet. We have awareness of the body and how it's feeling. We have recognition of tension, tightness, and we try and soften into and around those areas. And taking the time to do that in a meditative way with attention. And therefore, it does not really matter how flexible you are and what you can't do in a pose. For any of the yoga poses, it's about your approach to the pose based on what you are able to do and on how well you are relaxing into the pose. And then we have one of the most important parts to add to this awareness of the pose, the breathing. Feel yourself breathing in this pose. You can breathe through the nose or through the mouth, especially in the beginning. We're always looking for the most relaxed way. So as you sit here now, in this position, as with any other position, we want to know that we are relaxed. Being aware of being soft and gentle with the body and breathing in a gentle and relaxed way. And we're taking the time to stay with that feeling. This is all about taking the time. And as we relax and continue to build a sustained feeling of being relaxed in the body and in the breath and in the mind, we are opening up a yoga practice. Okay, open your eyes. Now, a special breath technique that I will be getting you to do in every session on this YouTube channel is a sigh. It's so important and it's very effective. Let's do it first through the mouth, which will allow you to get lots of air in and a nice relaxed breath out. So through the mouth, have a big breath in and a really nice deep sigh. That breath describes a feeling it applies to every pose you're in. Can you have a sigh that says, I am completely relaxed in this pose? The objective is to create that feeling as often as possible. Now, you might be a bit tight in the back or the legs now, or even the shoulders. So, 
Let's loosen the arms. Take the arms up and down, up and down, up and down. Then, legs out. Lift the knees up and down a little bit. Bend one knee, straighten. Bend the other knee, straight. One more time. And the other side. Then sit cross-legged again, but change the legs over. Whichever leg you had in front last time, now swap it. We're always thinking about balance. So sitting up straight again, let's do one stretch for the arms. Slowly bring the arms up into a clap. Now, it's going to be pressure here. Let's take all the steps. Start by becoming still in the pose. Listen to your body. Where is it tight? Can you relax into those areas? How are you breathing? Close your eyes. Focus on the feeling of the pose and your breathing. might be noticing the build-up of pressure. See if you can relax into the pressure. Don't fight against the pressure. Don't push. Just try to soften into and around the pressure. We're going to hold the arms up for 20 more seconds if you can, but of course you can come out at any time if you need to. What we want to do is have one effective deep sigh. Through the mouth, have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Good. Open your eyes. Breathe in before you move. And breathe out as you slowly, gently release. Well done. Let the arms just rest in front. Close your eyes. Here is a crucial point in the Raja Yoga practice. Immediately after a pose. Feeling what happened, the impact of the action taken. This is a continuous practice in awareness, observation, and a gradual development of understanding. As we rest now after that pose, the pressures drop. The body settles again. The breathing slows down. The heart rate settles. And if we started to surge in our body temperature, well now that will also be subsided. And so we come back to the stillness, quiet, restfulness, after 
what is nothing more than an event in our lives. At some stages during that event, there was the feeling of pressure, physical pressure, which becomes mental pressure. We try to relax into that pressure. We try to have relaxed breathing as the body was under pressure. as the body felt constrained by the pose. Now we feel the release of pressure. There is a space that opens up at the end of a practice. We come back to restfulness, calmness, quiet. Then we get a feeling for the mind. Is the mind tired? This is what we need to check. Okay, open your eyes. Have a big breath in and another deep sigh. Remember, it's the breathing that's going to make a significant difference to your experience of the practice. In the beginning in particular, we need to focus on being relaxed, soft and gentle, and open. And there's a whole journey that takes off from there. Okay, that's enough for today. It was just an introduction. I'll be doing five beginner sessions only. And these will be designed to prepare you to do so many of the other videos I've already put on this channel. Once you understand how to approach the practice, then you work with where your body is at. Remember, doesn't matter what you can't do, just work with what you can. Take time, listen to your body, always take rest if you need to, and keep listening. Watching for the process of change. Thank you very much. Hope to see you in the next beginner session. Take care for now.